All right, so let's talk for a second about the button part of this code. Um, right now, when I run my test, um, everything passes. Um, I show you in the homework, where's the best place to show that? Maybe I can show it up here. that we've got a button and that it has an ID of make HTML. I say that the onClick method goes to the make HTML method. So here's our button, here's its ID, and here's the method that gets published. Um, we can ignore this static message for now. I'll, I want to turn that off. Um, okay. So the next thing I point out is that we can use wrapper find on the ID, right? On this ID right here, we can f use enzyme to find an object with this ID and we can simulate a click on it. Simulate is part of Enzyme. So Enzyme is allowing us to simulate the action of a button, of a user clicking a button. But we don't want to bring up a whole new page. That's not what we want to do because we just, we don't want to test that other page. We simply want to test what happens when the button clicks. So what we do is we subscribe to the event that occurs when the button is clicked. An event is published and we subscribe to that event. Notice that we're subscribing to the same event, right? And then we console out log the two parameters that there may be more, but the two that we care about here. One is the event itself and the other is something we're calling target. These things get printed out and I show you for instance what the event object looks like and so this console without log statement generates this event here that occurred when our test was run so let's run the test again make sure you understand the test is run and our console.log generates that event and then it generates it also our console.log also generates this object Okay, it generates this object. And you might notice that this object is identical to the object that is created when we publish our event, right? It's the same object. Here it is, specifically. So at that point, we're able to write a test to see if the message part of our object is equal to the string that we expect it to be equal to and we can also check that the type of the event is equal to what we expect it to be. When you put it all together it looks like this, right? So my code for the test looks like this. We pull in home buttons we never use self debug enzymes, so we don't need to pull this in anymore. So when you do that, whenever you make a change, run your test again and make sure that there wasn't some unexpected consequence. And as we can see, there's not, there's no red here. It all looks good. So we're just sticking with that test. And, um, and the only other thing I wanted to point out was we got to subscribe to the event before we simulate the click. If the click is going to generate an event, we'd have to already be subscribed to it. So your job, of course, is to create one that responds not just to the client make HTML, but also to this make image um, event.